Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm just showing you a quick and dirty way to get market depth on your broker level. In this case, obviously, it's Duca's copy. Uh, they have an example uh, source code here for JForex and Java. So um, this will get the, this is the important stuff here, and I've mentioned this before, the bid volume and ask volume. I have confirmed that it does exist in both this Dukas copy as well as Interactive Broker. So you can get bid and ask volume at the tick level. This is kind of important because you can use this to generate um, a sort of like an oscillator indicator to see if the markets are buying or selling at tick level. And I just wanted to show you this so you can come to this web, uh, to the site here. Just do a search for JForex get full market depth to get the source code, it's out there. So uh, I'm not gonna go through the walkthrough of it. I'm gonna take a large assumption that you're, that you're able to use it. But I wanted to show, I have loaded it into my JForex platform here. So when I start it, basically what happens is um, let me just relaunch it. So here in the tab, what you'll get here is the volume, the bid, and this is again in real time, as well as the ask and the volume. Now you can both use this, as I said, to see, and this is only at broker level, what is happening at tick level on particular uh, assets that you can watch. So you can clearly see here that the volume will determine if there is an open interest on a particular asset. So if it suddenly starts to spike up over a certain number of ticks, you'll be able to determine as one of your indicators to show that there is an open interest in this asset. So in this case, I don't know what our... Um, asset is or instrument, but let me just take a look here. Uh, so let me just find out what instrument it is. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. So instrument. Okay, so it's very odd. I just got to figure out how to set the defaults, probably something that I'm either subscribed to or so I have to figure that out. But this is the basic code. I guess it depends on what I'm watching right here because this is on tick. So whatever instrument I've set, which I haven't set anything, uh, because uh, usually you can control what assets you want. Let me just uh, stop it. And uh, it's local run status logout. So yeah, I just got to figure out what instrument this is for. But you can easily set it within the um, Maybe it's the Z Z A R I J P Y. So let me just see if that may change it. Uh, so one point one six. That's oh no one point one six. I am not sure what this is for, but we'll figure it out. Um, but re relative, that's a minor problem. The code itself is pretty important, showing you how to retrieve. Um, this data. Now it's important to make sure that your broker allows you to do this. Many few brokers do, and it's also an ECN. Uh, both Duca's Copy and Interactive Brokers are ECNs. Hopefully, uh, this is a good hint for y'all. Talk to you later.